So with the Revenge on the Cartel event about to end, I thought I'd bring you guys a last ditch attempt to help those out there who haven't got all challenges done for the exclusive rewards, or are still doing them as they want to complete them on all individual Vault Hunters. And with these tips, I will guide you with the fastest routes possible in getting challenges done. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll be you another BL3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, with amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within the video description. So the Revenge of the Cartels event ends on June 4th, meaning you haven't got long left to complete any remaining challenges you may have. Today I guide you through them all, giving you tips on certain challenges to make them easier and much much quicker to complete. Also I will add some challenges you have to do on the Villa Ultraviolet, but for the most part this isn't the case as they can be done much quicker outside of the mansion. But let's first go through some that require a visit to the Villa Ultraviolet. And by the way, all challenges will be timestamped within the video description and pinned at the top of the comments section. Another thing to add before we go any further, these challenges for the most part in my opinion, if you struggle in any way are best done on as low a mayhem level as you feel good on. I mean there's no requirement on a certain level, there's just a certain few that need to be on mayhem 1 or above. So there are 18 challenges in total and the following you 100% need to visit the Villa Ultraviolet for. 1. King of Purple Kill Joey Ultraviolet 15 times Well this guys you can't get out of. You have to travel to this place 15 times and you have to kill Joey Ultraviolet 15 times. Now to help make this quicker for you, the fastest two ways I know of in collecting 30 intels from cartel enemies, I mean it can be done super quick anywhere but 100% in my opinion the fastest way in doing this is the scrap trap nest upon the conductor on the handsome jackpot which is a place I will mention for many of these challenges to come. Or guys the slaughter shaft located on Pandora, both places you will see yourself get these intels within minutes. So using these places will make the trip to Villa Ultraviolet way more efficient for you. So the next three challenges of Mr. Good Stuff, which is defeat Joey Ultraviolet in Mayhem 1 or greater, 3 minutes of playtime, defeat Joey Ultraviolet in 3 minutes, can't touch this, kill Joey Ultraviolet without taking damage from laser traps and corrosive traps. I mean these are really self explanatory, defeat Joey on Mayhem 1 or above, simple. Defeat Joey within under 3 minutes, do this on a low mayhem level with a weapon like the yellow cake or anything powerful, simple. And defeat Joey without taking any damage from the lasers within his room. Again lower your mayhem level down to 1, 2, 3 whatever. Take a powerful weapon in there, avoid the laser traps which you can see on all walls and also that corrosive pool as well and you're good to go. I mean just kill him super quick with any powerful weapon and this one is quite simple. I mean I did this without even knowing. I mean just standing away in a corner where you can't be hit by these traps and just rotate a bit left and right and you should be completely fine. So the next challenge is locked in here with me. Kill 6 underbosses in one map playthrough. This challenge just means you have to travel to the 4 points of the Villa Ultraviolet and kill underbosses which are outside of the main house. There will be one boss right here. We then have an underboss which spawns outside of the secret puzzle room, which you get to by following this route from the main entrance door. When you get up to this room, you'll have to kill all enemies within this room and an underboss will eventually spawn at this door. The next underboss is located straight on from the main entrance, which you'll get to by following the route I take on screen now. Once 
once you get here, kill everything that spawns, and a sub boss will appear at this right building. The fourth is located right of the main door, so follow the route I take on screen now. Once again, when you are here, kill everything and these doors on the left and right will open. Go within either of them as both doors lead to the same place. If possible, you pick the wrong battle. Kill everything within the room you enter, then a sub boss will appear from this lift. Now the remaining two are located in the main boss room, the main fight with Joey Ultraviolet. So here just kill these and the challenge will be done. Okay so the next challenge is Flawless Victory, complete the Revenge of the Cartels mission without dying. Again really easy, just lower that mayhem level. Next up, that's Grape Candy, smash 500 Iridium Dust Piles. Well it is as simple as that, smash 500 Iridium Dust Piles. This can also be done within one visit to the Villa Ultraviolet. I mean, just travel about the mission, destroy all what you see, and you can shoot them as well. I know it says smash, but you can shoot them too. So yeah, just travel about the mansion, do the quest of collecting a mask wherever it is located. Remember, you can visit all locations where it would be, where those underbosses do spawn, which I just covered. Just make sure you don't kill Joey, whatever you do. Just so stay away from his room. Then I suggest you just quitting out and loading back in. When you do this, you can run straight up to that mansion door, kill it on the boss that spawns, go back inside the mansion and all the iridium piles will have respawned. Rinse and repeat the process until you get the 500 piles, people. Okay, so next up we have three challenges I believe are fastest done outside of the Villa Ultraviolet and these are Mobster Kill, kill 800 cartel gang members, six feet underbosses, kill 50 cartel underbosses, mayhaps mayhem may help. Kill 25 underbosses in Mayhem 1 or greater. These, in my opinion, can be done quickest at that Scrap Trap Nest farm. As within the conductor upon the handsome jackpot within the Scrap Trap Nest, as you can see the route I take on screen now to this place, this spot, in my opinion, spawns the most amount of cartel enemies and underbosses, even more so than the Villa Ultraviolet. It's actually crazy how quick these things spawn down here. And the best part about this is people, the enemies appear in unlimited numbers because if you don't know, upon killing all down here including Scrap Trap Prime himself, if you run to this back area after uh, Scrap Trap's Red School disappears off the mini map, the fight resets and starts again. In fact you don't even have to wait for a Scrap Trap to appear or even die once he has appeared, you can still reset the fight by doing this. It's just once you kill Scrap Trap, the fight won't reset until his Red School has gone off the mini map. And down here guys, you get countless car tower enemies, which will allow you to get all three challenges done in absolutely no time at all. Okay, so next up we have three challenges which sees you having to kill certain underbosses certain ways. Never slap a slapper, kill fish slap with a slap, i.e. melee damage, three times. Seasoning in the wound, kill the tenderizer while he's healing himself three times. Penetration testing, kill Franco Firewall with his own cryo spikes three times. So these three challenges you can do them on the underbosses wherever you may find them, even outside of the Villa Ultraviolet. The Scrap Trap Prime which is a place I just covered, you see these underbosses all the time if you want to use that place. Or you can farm them at the Villa Ultraviolet itself. Now this is done by farming the final boss room of Joey Ultraviolet. And it's done quite easily, run through the mission as normally. And once you get to the final room where you fight Joey Ultraviolet and two underbosses, this is where the farm starts. Now these underbosses that appear with Joey are random. Obviously these challenges require different bosses. Now if you get here and the underboss you want isn't here, quit out and load back in. Here you will spawn at the start of the map, but you can run straight up to that mansion door where you will have to kill a few ads and a underboss. I mean it might be one you need, you don't know. Either way, take it out. Then you can jump straight back into the Joey fight and there's a chance you'll get different underbosses. Now once you get an underboss you need to get a challenge done on, from here it's simple and I will run you through how each challenge works and the fastest way of going about them in a quick second. 
But when you get an underboss, we need to get a challenge done on. Do the challenge on said underboss, but do not kill Joe Ultraviolet. Then either kill yourself or fast travel back to the start. Come back here and the underbosses will respawn, meaning you can get this challenge completed by simply repeating this process a couple of times. Three times for each challenge in total. So the challenges, firstly, never slap a slapper, kill fish slap with a slap, i.e. melee damage. To be honest, this is really straightforward in how it works, kill fish slap with a melee. But here there is a much, much easier way of doing this, and it doesn't matter what mayhem level you are on either. And it's as simple as killing fish slap with the face puncher shotgun. This counts as you can see on screen now. Do this three times and you are done here, people. Lower that mayhem level though if you want to make it much easier, but it isn't required. The next challenge is seasoning in the wound. Kill the tenderizer while he's healing himself. This one actually being the easiest of them all in my opinion. Basically when you come up against the tenderizer all you have to do is lower his health and he will then drop a corrosive pool on the floor. This is where you kill him, when he's standing within the middle of that pool. It's as simple as that. Most people think you need to kill him when he tethers to nearby enemies, that's actually false. He has to be in that corrosive pool when killed. The next challenge is penetration testing, kill Franco Firewall with his own trial spikes. This one being quite easy too and it's as simple as when he fires at those trial spikes allow them to chase you and you just shoot them when they are near him. The nearer the more damage they do to him I do believe. So low his health, let those spikes chase you, stand near him, shoot them and they will kill him. Challenge is done. Ok so the next challenge we have is sack tap, shoot 25 meat sacks off burnt end gang members. Now these are relatively easy to do also, it's just finding the enemies. Now you can get them as a main ultraviolet enemy within the rotation of enemies that do spawn in, but the numerous times I tried they just didn't appear. If they do, you get these easily done in a single run. Now the enemies are really easy to spot and can spawn within the Villa Ultraviolet with underbosses too. Normally I believe in my testings they appear with the roaster and the tenderizer. Now if you come across the roaster or the tenderizer within the Villa Ultraviolet final boss room, I do believe these enemies will keep spawning at random intervals. And these enemies are called the dices but I believe they can have different names. But they do stand out as they have sacks hanging besides their waists. And it is as simple as shooting those sacks people. Next up, and your lunch, money. Shoot 25 backpacks of perpetrator gang members. Here again, if you can get the jabber enemy rotation on Villa Ultraviolet, you will get this done so quick it's unreal. Otherwise, I think they do indeed spawn in with fish slap. And what you are looking for is a jabber with a backpack full of iridium or the puny zealots. And it is as simple as shooting those backpacks. Next up we have Popsicles, kill crypto sec frontrunners with cryo damage. This one again, like the last two challenges, you can get the crypto sec enemies within the Villa Ultraviolet enemy rotation. But it seems as though the more you try and search for the enemy you want, the less they appear. But they also appear with Franco Firewall. So if you go into the Joey Ultraviolet fight and Franco Firewall is there, expect to find crypto sec enemies with him and it is as simple as killing these with a cryo weapon. Maybe putting the mayhem level down to a 1 or 2 and using a high level cryo weapon you'll get this done much much quicker. Ok so next up we have marking your territory. Find and use all golden toilets in the ultraviolet mansion. These you will see me guide you to on screen now just follow the route I take to all 3.
Okay, and lastly guys, we have every mission needs a puzzle. Solve the hidden puzzle in the ultraviolet mansion. Now this is a video I originally posted a guide on ages back when the Revenge of the Cartels event just dropped, which I will just replay on screen now for you guys, as I do believe I do do a decent enough job that even the newbies of noobs like me would understand it. So check that out on screen now. The puzzle is located in the room where you have to grab the mask. For the people who have no idea what I'm talking about, clear your way through into the mansion, check out the fountain and you will be guided to a room to grab a mask. This is where you need to be. On screen now you can see me go into this room, which you would eventually have to progress to. So once you are here, if you go up to this desk, you will see a keyboard in which you have to activate. So do so. When you do this, you will see four screens directly in front of you. These will showcase a shape on each. Now there are three shapes in total, which will appear on these four screens. You need to remember these shapes, so it's probably best you write them down. As you can see, mine are square, circle, square, triangle. So once you've written these down or remembered them, if you turn around, you will see numbers on a bookcase. These you can activate, but you need to press them in a certain order. If you get them wrong, you have to load out and load back in and do the process again. So don't touch these for now. Now to decipher your shapes into a four digit code, you need to travel to this bookcase right here. Within this bookcase, you will see spaces. Within the bottom three shelves, you will see glowing objects. These are representations of those shapes you saw on the screens. This one here on the left is a triangle. Middle one is a square and the right one is a circle. Above each shape there will be three empty spaces within the bookshelf. These spaces all tie to a number and the numbers are this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So a triangle can only be represented by either 1, 4 or 7. Square represented by 2, 5 and 8 and triangle represented by 3, 6 and 9. In order to find your code, it's simple. Within the three spaces above the shape, there will be an object. Whatever space the object is in, that will be a number for that represented shape. As you can see, I have an object in triangle 1, square 8 and circle 3. The shapes which appeared on the screen for me at the start of this video were square, circle, square, triangle. So my code is obviously 8381. And all you then do is go and press those numbers on that bookshelf. And once you've done this right, you will open up a secret room full of chests and iridium piles. And you've also completed the secret challenge. And you're good to carry on about your business people. And that is that guys. How to complete the every mansion needs a puzzle challenge. And I do hope this video helped you out. And yeah guys, that is it. My guide on completing all 18 Revenge of the Cartels challenges. I mean, you don't have long left. And remember, these have to be done on each individual Vault Hunter. Meaning, doing these on Zane won't unlock them for Fleck. So yeah, if you are a collector like me and you need guides, here they are. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also guys, if you want to support me directly and become a member, do click that join button. But again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.